Nope, not good. No, I like it. I just, yeah. I, no. I, 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 Julian, this is false. Um, oh. <laughs> that should be enough for that bit, shouldn't it? Is it enough? Hi, I'm Dr. Julian Wong, Senior Vascular Surgeon from the Vascular and Endovascular Clinic. I'm Jun Tang. Uh, I'm also a Vascular and Endovascular Surgeon from the Vascular and Endovascular Clinic. And today we shall be dispelling and debunking common myths from the internet about varicose veins. A common question I'm often asked is what do vascular specialists do? Well, vascular specialists look after the circulation, everything in the body outside the heart and the brain. We look after the arteries, which is the water flow from the heart to the rest of the body, and the veins that return blood from the peripheries back up to the heart. If you think of us as plumbers, we plumb the pipes that basically clean to the roads away from the heart and back to the heart. One of the most common conditions we treat as vascular surgeons are varicose veins and spider veins. Varicose veins are fall when the valves in the veins are damaged. That cause a negative pressure and reverse flow, causing the veins to bulge out. And they normally come in green, red, or purple color. Myth number one, only older people get varicose veins. This is wrong. You know, we treat patients from as young as 14, 15 years old to all the way into 80s, if not 90s. As you well know, that varicose veins are mainly from genetics. It could be due to pregnancy and mostly related to jobs that we do, like people like us, the nurses, the teachers, people in catering business, they all get varicose veins. Myth number two, men do not have to worry about varicose veins. It's a lady's condition. Is that right? Julian, this is simply not true. In fact, men and women can be equally affected by varicose veins and chronic venous insufficiency. In fact, by the age of 70 years old, 70% 70 of us will develop some degree of vein problems. Exercise worsens varicose veins. This is not true again. In fact, exercise has the reverse effect. Exercise helps the muscle pump to pump blood towards the heart and actually exercise helps to reduce varicose vein in some way. Things like walking, swimming in moderation actually helps. In fact, I actually advise a lot of my patients to do Pilates yoga, not hot yoga, by the way, and uh, also cycling. These are excellent ways to shift blood from the muscle pumps in the leg to the heart. Totally agree. In fact, I actually also have a bunch of spinners under my name who developed the varicose veins. So going the extreme ways of exercise can be detrimental too. Myth number four, varicose veins are only a cosmetic problem. Julian, this is false. In fact, varicose veins is a medical condition which can be quite serious. In fact, it can affect the skin on the legs. It can cause pigmentation as well as breakdown of the skin, which is termed ulceration. It, is a, it can be cause pain, such as restless leg syndrome, heaviness in the legs, swelling around the ankles, reducing a person's quality of life. Myth number five. Surgery is the only option for varicose veins. Well, not entirely true, true. We do have the options of surgery, but normally we start with simple things first. You know, you can do lifestyle management, you can do compression stocking. There are medicine that you can take for varicose veins like that form. Uh, in terms of surgery, in the more advanced cases, you know, you have a long endovascular surgery, like laser, microwave, glue, um, clary vein. These are some of the options. One of the things that I do personally is actually wearing compression stocking every day for work. I'm going to show you what it looks like. They come in a variety of colors and a variety of sizes and degree of compression. And actually, even in the temperate climate can be very comfortable to wear. But it makes a difference. Every day after work, right, when you go home, you don't have the heaviness, you don't have the cramp, and you have a very, very light leg. People, people actually often under the misconception you have to wear it all day, even to bed. Or well, to be honest with you, even under the covers, I think you'll be scratching all day and you'll be cursing us for advising that. In fact, you probably only need to wear the stockings just during the daytime when you're on your feet. Because when you lie flat, 
uh, at night when you're sleeping, your the level of your heart and the level of your legs are equal. So there's minimal pressure. So there's not much point of wearing compression stocking when you're going to bed. That was the five myths from two vascular surgeons. I hope this helps everyone to understand some of the myths, mostly not true. And I'll leave this to Dr. Jun. If you want to know more about your veins and your how to improve the health of your veins, please don't hesitate to reach out. We would be delighted to have a chat and to help you at the Vascular and the Vascular Clinic, either at Glen Eagles Hospital or Mount E Orchard uh, in uh, Singapore. If you enjoy what we had to say, please subscribe to Medical Channel Asia. Thank you.